Technologic. I, marketing tech blog. You know, you can really get trapped in that web of beepers, and Zenith televisions, and Walkmans, and Discmans, and floppy disks, and zip drives, laser disks, answering machines, and Nintendo Power Glove. Wow, you know so much about technology. Technologic. Buy it, use it, break it. I love this topic. Yes. I really do. It's very, very cathartic for me. Um, <laughs> well, it's, I mean, being in an agency, you know, there's a, especially in the agency front, people really should pay attention to this, that if you're shopping for an agency, I, I really mean this, you should not pay attention to price. And I'm not saying that to, to spend as much as you want or, or, you know, go over your budget. I'm saying that you have to get the right fit with yeah. the agency. Yeah, absolutely. you have to get an understanding of how that is. If you love, we had a we had a client once that that we we exited, we parted ways, and it was because they focused so much on uh, the spreadsheets that we would send them each week and how they were formatted. <laughs> um, you know, and, you and, and this lady said, yeah. you know, I can't take this to my, you know, to my executive team. This needs to be prettier. Let me mock one up for you and, and everything else. And we're going, Wait, you didn't hire us to write <laughs> spreadsheets for your boss. You hired us to get, you know, improvements on your site. And yeah. so that's just a, that's an extreme example, but it is a good example of, you know, and then some companies uh, are last minute, you know, oh, I, we need a one sheet designed for, you know, an event this week. Well, some agencies will jump right in and get that done. Right. Some agencies can't get that done because they have a production process right. and they have, you know, everything scheduled out and everything else. You have to find the right agency. So um, the reason why I love this topic is because we just wrote a post recently on this. Uh, what's the right marketing budget as a percentage of revenue? Mm -hmm. And so uh, I want to go into it because um, it's it's a it's a it's a really good article um, and, and people might you know, really get shocked at some of these numbers, but, mm -hmm. um, 46% of companies spend less than 9% of overall revenue on their, uh, online marketing budget. So, so, uh, 46%, 9, 9%. So if you're looking at your overall revenue, now right. that's not profit revenue, right? If you're looking at revenue with marketing spend, uh, that's what it is. Now, 24% of the companies spent nine to 13%, 13, 30% of companies spent greater than 13% of, That's promising. Of, of overall revenue. Company size has an impact as well. Enterprise corporations spend 11% of their budget on average, while smaller companies spend 9.2% of the budget. Okay. Um, but competitors who plan to outperform their competitors invest 13.6% of overall revenue. So that's the average out yep. there. And now you're, you're going to adjust it whether you're big or small, but now you're talking, right? So if you're talking and you're a company and you have a million dollars in revenue, right? Do the math, do the math. That's $136,000 in order to, you know, beat out your, right. your competitors. Right. And, and so, and I would say even nowadays, a lot of companies are focused on quantity for that. Uh, how many blog posts is that? How many of this? How many of that? How many of that? Don't pay attention to that. You want to pay attention to conversions. You want to pay attention to momentum because mm -hmm. um, it takes a while, right? Yeah. If you take over a client, especially a client that has no authority, right. it's going to take six to nine months to, to ramp that up. And so... And that's what we tell clients, you know, I mean, we're, you're talking nine months out before you really start going, oh, wow, this is exciting. This is working. That's right. But the great thing is, is two years out, it keeps increasing. Mm -hmm. You know, you keep building on that momentum you over time. You have a larger view of all this. So even if you kept a flat budget of $100,000 a year on your marketing budget and you kept that flat for five years, five years from now, you can expect a lot more leads. That's right. You know, because you're building content, you're That's building right. a presence, you're building authority on that. And, I mean, as an analogy, do you, when you go to, to see a, a, you know, have, have a great dinner at a, a restaurant and, you know, you've got a world famous chef there, are you yeah. looking at the ingredients? Yeah. Are you telling him how many things yeah. that you want of this particular, yeah. I mean, come on. Do I you mean, order a steak at Roos Chris and expect the same at, you know. 
Um, Ponderosa. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm, <laughs> the blue steak. <laughs> exactly. You know, so so it's it's just something really to keep in mind. Now, now uh, a thing to blow you away, software as a service uh, is the industry that we, we work in quite a right. bit. Um, education companies online, they spend uh, 11 to 20% of their budget. That's started 11% to 20% mm. of their overall to, mm. to get there. Um, when you're talking manufacturing companies, 19 to 20% wow. of their revenue is spent online. Social media companies, 35 to 44% of their overall revenue budget is spent on marketing. Um, wow. Technology companies are a little bit lower, 7 to 18%, so they're on par with everybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you get into these really highly competitive software as a service companies like Salesforce and Marketo and everything else. Right. This is public information. Salesforce spends 53% of their revenue on marketing efforts. Marketo spends Mm. 66%. But you know what? Mm. Marketo spending 66% had 56% revenue growth year over year. Gas on. Yeah, absolutely. 56%. Salesforce had 33% revenue growth over year year over year. Right. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it, like I said, first step is get the right agency, get the right partnership in there so that you're a fit for that. The agency loves it, right? Right. When you have that when you have that client that appreciates what you're doing, is open to things, everything else. Right. Oh, it's heaven, you know? And and then and so you want to find that fit first. Correct. And then you want to start working on the budget and seeing and and the way that you analyze your budget, one, try to do it by revenue percent. Try to do it that way. Don't sit there and try to needle down eight agencies to see who's cheaper. You're you're, you're in the wrong mindset. You're running to yeah. the bottom. Absolutely. You know, because the agency that takes 20% off their mm-hmm. effort, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they're taking 20% off their effort. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the budget. I mean, think about it. If you're a client and you're looking at that, would you do the same if, if you right. wanted somebody, uh, any prospect of yours, yeah. you know, would you, I mean, you're yeah. going to want to focus on the product quality that you've yeah. got, right? You want to, you want to pay for the dollar menu, but you want to, you want a steak <laughs> burger, right? You know, you're not, you're not getting it. That's and, right. And the thing is, is agencies do have room, right? I mean, we're profitable businesses, right? But what we really love is we really love that freedom to be able to throw those extra things mm-hmm. in and, and take the leap and make an Remember, investment and get them. Because yeah. a great client that's getting great results is great for my agency. I want them to win, too. They're going to be with me forever. That's right. That's right. Remember, you're buying experience, not hourly. Right. And you got to remember that. All right. Uh, quickly, how do they get in contact with you, Mark? Uh, Mark? Marketing? <laughs> Mark. Mark? What is it? Mark from Marketing Tech Blog. Like 100 episodes you know, he calls me Mark. Actually, Mark is an improvement from what he calls me offline. So. Uh, um, other four-letter words. Mark, yeah. <laughs> marketing, <laughs> marketingtechblog.com. Yeah. Uh, follow me at Douglas Carr, K-A-R-R. But this one, uh, look up Marketing Budget. Uh, uh, as a search on, and you'll find a lot of information oh, on this. Cool. Some great information. It even gets into the nitty gritty of some of the strategies that yeah. you talked about, yeah. and and balancing your budget on where you should be putting money because, like SEO and local SEO, is still a a, a big factor. Yeah, there. Absolutely. All right. Hey, here's the fact. All. Be-